Hi everyone, um, it's time for a quick tutorial. Um, I've been doing this for a while now, creating these infinite looping videos. I've been doing it with Google VO2 and Kling, and now I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to do it with Pika Labs 2.2, because with Pika Labs 2.2, you can do it all with that one tool and you don't have to start mixing things and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm starting out, I'm going to give it to you very simple. We're going to make a looping video that consists of two generations from Pika Labs with the same prompt. So um, let me show them to you. Here's one. These are kind of cool little videos where we in where we go in and out of cyberspace back into reality back into cyberspace that sort of vibe right here's the other one you can see it's it's the same prompt so it's going to give you the same vibe over and over again so how can we make this a looping video well this is how we're going to do it we have these two videos here these are the ones that i downloaded and i just renamed them one and two and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the first frame and the last frame of both of these videos. So I'm gonna do this with a little shell script that I wrote. I will give that to you um, after posting this tutorial. So I'm gonna go to my, I'm gonna go to my um, demo folder. This is where those two files are. And I'm just gonna run that script have it here in my bin directory I have one that's called first frame it's taking the first frame and I'm running the first frame for 2.mp4 and then there's another script that I have that's called last frame I'm gonna run that for 1.mp4 and 2.mp4 and now as you can see here we have the first frame and the last frame of these two videos. So here, first frame, last frame, first frame, last frame. You can kind of verify, like this is the video. Here's the first frame. You see it grabbed it per perfectly. So now what we're going to do next, we're going back to Pika Labs, and we're going to say, I'm going to use that same prompt that I had here. And we're going to pick Pika Frames. I'm putting that same prompt here, just making sure that that's my prompt. And then as the first frame, now this is important, pay attention. As the first frame, I'm going to use the last frame of the first video. You see, 1.mp4 last frame. And I'm going to use the first frame of the second video because that is going to tie the whole thing together. Now I leave the prompt the same because I want it to have the same vibe and everything the same so that it looks like one continuous thing. So I'm going to hit generate on that one. And now while that generates we can already go ahead and do another one where we use the last frame of number two and we're going to connect that with the first frame of number one because then we have the whole loop completed right you'll see this when we put this together in a video editor so now we just wait for these um, videos to render and I'll see you on the other side Okay, one has finished, so let's take a look. All right, that looks really cool, and that fits perfectly in um, in that same vibe, right? So I'm gonna go in my case. You can go to any video editor you want, but I'm using a Wondershare Filmora. So I'm okay, so in Wondershare Filmora, we're going to we're going to say import our original two videos and now I'm gonna download these two new ones that I made in Pika this one I'm gonna call it one 
into 2.mp4 and then this one I download also and I'm gonna call this 2 to 1.mp4 and now I'm gonna move those into my demo folder so we have everything there oh, there we go so now I have all the videos I need for this whole thing I'm going back into Filmora and I'm importing the two connecting videos 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 and there we go so now we're gonna put them all together we have one and I'm going to say match to media here and then now we're gonna put one to two this is our connector piece so to say and then we're gonna put number two and then finally we're gonna put two to one now if we play that whole thing you'll see that now we have a perfectly looping video you see here it's going to that connecting piece keep flowing just fine and now it's uh, there's a little there seems to be a little pause there we're going to address that in a second we can uh, easily fix that usually here's a little pause also yeah it doesn't always happen but when it does what you're going to want to do is basically you get two frames two times right so if this is number one and we started with um the frame that it ended with you're going to get that frame twice right so i'm going to find that frame and and just cut that one frame out so we're going to cut this out let me see that's that one so let me see how that came out so now you don't see that stutter really it slows a little bit because that but that's fine because sometimes the flight goes faster sometimes it goes slower and then here i'm doing the same thing i'm taking that one frame out and we'll see we don't see that stopping effect anymore here again we need to take out a frame and again uh, we still have it a little bit, so I'm taking some more out. Now that one is interesting. Get more out, still. Yeah, so this is a bit unusual. Usually you have to take out only one frame, if at all. And that looks good, right? So. Your mileage may vary there, but yeah, there's yeah, this is per perfectly smooth. So now, if I export this, demo loop, and I'm gonna put this also in my demo folder real quick. Exporting now. Zit. So now I'm opening that folder, and now we have a perfectly looping video here that you can use for anything you want any cool visualization that you're into you can use it and it will it'll keep looping for you pretty mesmerizing right and that's just two Pika videos and they will keep going for you forever and ever Um, that's it so I hope you enjoyed this you can use this like for example if you if you wanted to do some kind of longer piece what I typically do with my video editor you just say like create a compound clip you can do that in CapCut also same thing right now you have one clip and you'll see now that this is the entire sequence and I'm pasting another one over there right so you go connect this now you'll see that it really is seamless so here let's watch this see perfect it went here again you could argue maybe take this one frame out but you know it just kind of depends the other day I did it and it wasn't needed sometimes it is play with that of course to, to make that look 
perfectly seamless. But it's pretty cool. So that's it. You have your looping video and you can put that behind trippy music or whatever you want. Of course, what I've done with some of my um, DJ Fly stuff, I would not use two videos, but way more than that. That way you can make a very long endless video there let me see if i can show you an example of this uh yeah here it is like watch this a little bit of a demo see so this is really long like five minute or so loop i think i put like 15 or so pieces together with the same technique and then of course the last one gets connected to the first one so we have this awesome VJ background stuff. In this one, I also applied some uh, post-processing effect to get this Jumbotron look, but that doesn't matter, it's the same thing. The videos were made with Picolabs and I stitched them together and then I just added stuff in post. So that's it, hope you like it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what you try to do with this. Take care, bye.